Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dead Cells, where we are right where we should have been at the end of the last episode. I went ahead and ran us all the way up to the giant. Um, you might notice that I used, I took YOLO and then spent it and also we're out of flash charges. It turns out the cavern's very difficult when you don't have a ranged weapon. Um, I know I did have a ranged weapon, but I wasn't like primary ranged weapon. And it's still, it's still pretty hard. It's much harder than the other biomes. That's maybe not, you know, the the Arboretum stuff is also quite different. The game's, the game's just very hard is the thing. But we're about to, uh, we're about to take a little swing at this giant. We will not win. Absolutely will not win. It's fine. We're going to die, but we're going to have a little bit of time to practice fighting the giant. And then we're going to start a new run. And it'll be just like... We didn't lose an ending yesterday. <laughs> we'll have an ending here, and then a run, and then another ending. So, what do we want to unlock as we approach the giant fight here? I did pick up a new blueprint. This seems cool. Covers you in ice that absorbs one attack and then explodes, freezing nearby enemies. Just absorbing hits it seems like a pretty great thing. Uh, so, we could unlock a new weapon. I suspect that his hands and I don't have a back. The hands might. You know, there's the, there's a back of a hand. Uh, we don't really have a source of bleeding or poison. Here's where we are with our with our stuff. I just unlocked the frontline shield. We have a pretty cool amulet. And then basically just grenades, you know, just, just throw grenades at people. Uh, we have an oil spreading effect on both this grenade and this pan. We might want to re-roll some stuff. Or honestly, you know what? Since we have an oil spreading effect on this grenade, maybe I should unlock the torch now. Yeah, let's get a torch. That's a thing we can do. And then, um, I'm just gonna finish Gold Reserves 4. Does it go past that? It does. Advanced Forge 1. Ooh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's focus on that for a little while. That seems great, actually. Alright. So, uh, sorry, I didn't even look at what our torch does. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't matter because we're about to go reforge it. So let's do that and then look at it. Bonus damage for hits in the back. Okay, let's hope that they do have backs. Launches a grenade. I like that quite a bit. Ooh, freezes enemies blocked with a parry is huge. Okay, so my hope is that with a shield, we will be much better able to handle that thing where it shoots the, uh, shoots the large number of projectiles at us. We get our flask charge, and then you get another one right after this fight, right? That was the case with the timekeeper, so I assume it will be the case here. If by some miracle <laughs> we manage to pull this off, there's more health waiting for us, probably. Oh, I'm nervous. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be nervous. I'm going into this intending to die. I think we're going to die, so that should take some of the pressure off, right? Is that, is that how that works? Does that make sense to anyone? Alright, let's rumble, you big oaf. Still real cool looking. Still still a huge, huge thumbs up on his design. Are we gonna chat again? Yeah, it's still me, my dude. Alright, you know what? I am done with done with conversation. I wanna wait until one of the hands is in a place where I'm confident I'll be able to aha! Ow. Started a big oil fire. Okay. Aha! Look at that! That's way better! Oh right, you gotta... gotta avoid the things. Yeah, and that's super easy to do, because the projectiles are really slow moving. Out lava! Come on, die. Alright. I kinda wish that I, I... I wish that I had had my big grenade up. Oh, he starts to stagger the, uh... There we go, that's how you wanna do that. Oh, I let him shoot me into the lava. Ooh, he's doing this a lot more often. I don't... Ah, I've, I'm having a really hard time getting the last hit in here. There we go. Ah, that time I made sure that I had my oil up. This is... Um, it's working. And we're not taking a lot of damage, but also we are getting the job done really slowly. No, nope, maybe not right now. Okay, it's fine. You know what? That's fine. Oof. I am not doing a great job of rolling here. I'm rolling too, uh, 
too early and too late, but never, never at the right time. I can't believe that hand is still alive. Oh, this is new. Damn it. Well, we're gonna get the eye back out in a second here. I need to um, make sure I'm using my fast grenade on cooldown. The cooldown's so low that I forget about it. Oof. I don't know if my damage is just really bad for this uh, for this late in the game or what's going on. We have reasonably leveled equipment, but man, this is taking forever. Maybe there's a gimmick I'm missing. I'm assuming I can't parry the um, the smash, the downward smash, but I might might be able to parry the um, the punch. I should try. I did not uh, did not do it right. Is the problem with that one? Ooh. Okay, that's new. Don't like that at all. So that attack, when he does that thing, um, it seems like parrying the first shot gets you hit by the fourth one. You know, because the parry catches the, the first shot and the one that's above it and behind. And then I think it also caught the, the one that was behind that. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do on that one. But we made it way further in the fight there, and like it, it seems like having a shield really helps. Okay. We're gonna try going back to the giant one more time. Uh, it, it definitely feels like if we're just trying to win, going to the cavern is a mistake, because the cavern seems much harder than all the other biomes, but let's go this way for right now. Uh, but the giant presumably has some cool blueprints for us to unlock. Uh, let's go this way, and we'll we'll try to pick up a red shield closer to the boss. We don't have the ability to unlock one anymore. There's not there's not another one in the uh, in the pool, so we'll just have to actually find one. But we have we have access to the merchandise categories and stuff. I'm confident we can make it happen. We can hope. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll take that over. These are both actually pretty cool. I'll, I'll take it over this. That's fine. But yeah, we have lots of other uh, lots of other routes to figure out. We still have to try to get the moonflower key thing done. So I don't want to I don't want to do too many runs in a row working on this giant thing. It does seem it does seem like something we want to learn eventually, though. I like the way the poison spreads from enemy to enemy. That's really useful. I also like the way these enemies pose no threat to us at all. <laughs> Similarly, very useful. Wow, what a bad what a bad time to throw that grenade. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's see what legendary we have. Ooh. Uh well. You know, it can be re-rolled. The thing is, it's not even that good. Good. It's just a level two. I'm just... I'm not even gonna bother with it. It's not really that much better than the one we're currently using. And we're just gonna... I'm just gonna get hit and take some dumb damage, and then we're gonna end up replacing it shortly afterward anyway. Oh, I can't... Can't ground slam when the roof is that short. I will say, I'm a little tired of the sewer, so after this run, win or lose, and my suspicion is lose, we are going to vary up our route a little bit, because I don't really want to live in the sewer forever. And I think with pretty much any build, we end up with a couple of points red. We're not necessarily locked into only using red gear here. We want to... Aw. I thought that grenade was gonna make it past the underhang or the overhang there. Ah! Oh, I did not. I did not see the little hole there. Oh, I'm having a hard time climbing stuff. Ah! Dumb way to get hit. Too many enemies. Well, that didn't work. Okay, still plenty of time to make the combo. We're fine. 
Everything's fine. Everybody stop panicking. Everybody, me, stop panicking. Ooh, I do not like it when the light speed gets suddenly cut short. I have no idea what causes it to do that. Sometimes it'll charge through big enemies. I think it, it seems like it usually gets stuck on an enemy. It has definitely gotten stuck on rats before. I wonder if it's just like low-level versions of it only run through a certain number of enemies, perhaps? Uh, I mean, I'm not even going to bother. We're not going to buy anything at this point. We want to make sure that we have enough money to potentially buy something from a shop later and still be able to afford the extra flask charge that I suspect we're going to want by the time it becomes available. It's like, if we, if we do buy the flask charge, then that means that we can spend two flask charges by the graveyard and still come out even. We, we will be at net zero loss. That gives you a lot of a lot of room to make mistakes still. There's a lot of latitude to screw up there. Uh, does this guy, does this one have stuff in it? Ah, uh, yes, in fact, it has delicious turkey. Where the hell is the rest of this dungeon? I guess it's all down here? Wait until I see that thing again before I move. Yeah, there's a weird delay after landing a stomp uh, before you can use your items. I don't know how um, how obvious the no item use sound is. Because obviously I have the game the game audio mixed a little bit low for you guys, a little bit lower than I have it for me. I was trying to I was trying to catch him with the grenade from the pan. Didn't, didn't quite work out. Are we out of enemies? We are. Oh, that's a shame. Well, let's turn in this food. You know, this is not the really important cargo or er, combo door. Here's a question. Do I want to eat food for 8 health? I think I would rather just recycle it. And if we get a, uh, a weapon or something that has the bonus damage at 100% health thing, then I will just feel sad about it, that's all. feel pretty good with this amount of money coming out of the first area, though. So if we pick up a shield a little bit earlier, and we actually have the shield during the cavern, I'm wondering how much more health I can save. Aw, oh, no amethyst. Not a good omen. I feel that the castle is against us this run. Reinforced by the fact that there were no... <laughs> there were not enough enemies for me to combo out after getting hit what I thought was relatively early. Uh, yeah, we're gonna focus on the Advanced Forge. That seems like a really big up upgrade. Uh, so, I don't think we have... The reason I took the Yellow Heart last time was I was looking at this and thinking, you know, we just don't have enough red mutations that are actually good to justify passing this up. I do think, in general, <clears throat> taking extra health, like an extra half of a health bar as a mutation is less good than just taking three mutations that are actually going to help you win. But, we're really not losing anything by taking it. The opportunity cost is, is basically nothing. Gosh, I love clouds of damage effects. Oh, that was inconvenient. Hmm, that didn't really, uh, didn't really take me anywhere. I was hoping to drop a little bit more, I just hit the button too fast. I, that's a problem I have a lot. I find that I'm just like, I'm, I come up with an idea and then I try to press all of the buttons to execute the idea uh, all at once. When that is not usually the correct way to do it. This is a game where timing matters quite a bit. I 
do love the pan, though. It's hard to... Aw. It sure looked to me like I was behind that guy. Apparently his, uh, his attack is a pretty large functional area. Ooh. Okay. Well, I was gonna go down that, um, that secret path, which I totally do see, but if we're... If we're in bonus cell mode, we gotta make sure we take advantage of that. We'll come back for it, and I will totally remember that it is there. Who says I won't? Must roll cells into, uh, what do you call it? Into the forge. I probably didn't need to use both of my skills on that. Yeah, sure, I'll fight an elite. Why not? I don't have any self-respect. Sense of self-preservation. Hey, that actually went really well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's an upgrade. What a fun pan. Alright, we're gonna kill the enemies on this ledge, and then we're going back for that, uh, that secret. I don't actually remember where all the, uh all the poison is, so we're just gonna drop down kind of slowly and carefully. Wait, enemy. I'm gonna clear out enemies while we're up here. Right, I think that gap is the gap is wide enough that he cannot make that jump. Okay, now we go back down here. Ah! Well, that's just gonna get me poisoned. Let's go around. Ah, come on. A thing that I think is a little frustrating is that it feels like it. The, it feels like the amount of time that it takes to get poisoned is really inconsistent. Sometimes it happens if you ever touch poison at all. It feels like it happens in a single frame, and other times you can be in the poison for like a full second, and it just won't apply. I don't know if it's one hundred percent perception on my part or if it's that like there's a global pulse you know like it 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 poisons me it, it sends out a poison tick every full second and if you land just before the pulse you get poisoned right away and seems at least possible i can't really think of another good reason for it to feel because it's not like a little bit either it's quite a it's quite a difference the times when it does the fast poison but again, it could just be, you know, my brains. That happens sometimes. Not my brains specifically, human brains, but also my but also my brains specifically sometimes. All right, I think we're actually red. I mean, we it feels like we really haven't found anything yet. I'm going to take a green. We'll see what happens. Just trying to make sure I didn't fall into the poison that I this time totally remembered it was at the bottom of the pit. We may still be able to make the combo door. I mean, I sure hope so. But I gotta stop getting caught out of position by these guys. Let's pull this one down here, too. Thank you, poison gun. Poison gun might be the finest weapon that has ever been invented by man. Why punch enemies when you can just fill the air with poison that you don't even know how to breathe? Alright, so we're at 18. I don't know, man. We we got hit after fighting a lot of enemies. We'll see. This is I feel like this is a much more important combo door to hit. And at this point, we might actually be willing to buy something. I was really looking for a weapon, though, if I'm being honest. Cowardice! There we go. See, we used every trick in the book. You should get a, you should get a bonus. 
for enemies that you kill after hitting with both of your weapons and both of your skills, I feel like. Aha, you fool. Step into my parlor. That's not really, I mean, as far as I know, there are no spiders that do their thing with big clouds of poison, so that doesn't really work. Uh, no, I think we're good. You know, with the Advanced Forge, I wonder... What happens if you try to double forge a plus-plus item? Is it going to turn out that the Advanced Forge is not actually useful after we get to 100% of items are plus-plus? I'm going to... Boy, I, f I still feel like we're using all of our starting items, right? We have no idea what the dungeon is going to give us, and we're having to make an awful lot of stat choices really, really early. Oh, we had no ability to interact with that, uh, with the cage there. So I guess I, no, no, now we do. Is he still in there? He is, somehow. Despite the fact that we have seen him dead many times. Good sound work, excellent Foley. I turned around too early. You can turn around really, really late in that animation, it turns out. What am I doing? Why would I... Why would I just sit there and wait for the bombs to explode? Okay, well, he sure saved that rat. There's that rat. I really, really, really do love the poison spreading. Alright, you know what? We're just going red. They're gonna show me a thousand, uh, a thousand stat scrolls before showing me any items at all. It's fine. Red's a very versatile color. We have a lot of unlocked red stuff. We have a lot of stuff that we are working toward unlocks. Or we have a lot of red stuff that we can work toward. Is a more English-speaking way to express that idea. Uh, no thank you. I mean, I could have taken that ice grenade before and then taken the ice bow there and we could have just could have just gone for a full never let the enemies attack kind of build, which, you know, has its has its benefits for sure. Should not have quick dropped there. No idea what's below us. Well, that was a bad that was a pretty bad shot. Oh, I love this version of this weapon. Huh. That was, uh... That was a roll. I don't know, it, I don't know if the roll just didn't execute or what the hell happened there, but... I definitely should have been rolling when that hit. Oh my. Well, that's not on color, but... It's probably better than Infantry Grenade 1. So wait, what is all this? It's just an alternate route? It's just an alternate route where you don't have to deal with any of the scary traps? Okay. I guess I should have taken that. Well, I'm pretty bummed out about that. Uh, getting hit by that guy's attack... It's like a lot of damage and also... Also broke our combo at a time when we really couldn't afford to have our combo broken. That said, I... Oh no no, there was totally enough enemies. There's not now. But there were totally enough enemies for us to hit the combo. What is going to be the best way to deal with these guys? Probably to go past and turn around, right? Create ourselves a cloud of safety. You know what? We're going to go to the Corrupted Prison. I'm fairly sure it's an extra biome. Damn it. That's... Mm, okay. Is there... There's not a teleporter over here is the thing. There we go. I was trying not to let my toes dip in the, uh, in the poison. Because if we got infected as quickly this time as we got last time, then that would have been enough time, right? At this point, I suppose it doesn't really matter that much because the poison doesn't actually do any meaningful damage. 
It is 100% there just to screw your combo over. Uh, and that doesn't matter to us anymore, so I guess I guess I don't really need to worry about it. I do sort of wish that um, taking damage from non-enemy sources didn't affect your combo, because, like, the, those are two different skills that are being tested there. But it's, you know, it's fine. They're just, they're just testing both of them. Ooh, do I want to take this over my light speed or maybe over my mushroom boy? I do like the light speed a lot. Yeah. Off-color mushroom boy, we had our fun. So there's a chance that going to the Corrupted Prison is just going to cost us health. We've certainly seen that happen in the past. Yeah, that's the price for free stuff, is risk. Which I guess makes it not free stuff. That's the price for stuff that has a price. Really, he's not, uh, he's not quite in that poison cloud, huh? Alright. There we go. Sometimes light speed is a uh, is an evasion tactic. Okay, there are yeah, there's a small number of enemies left. We should go fight them. Hey, look, we finally actually actually used the teleport thing. I guess that's what it's for. If a uh, ah. If a real teleporter doesn't generate anywhere nearby. Okay, I'm very curious about all these tombstones. But it looks like all the all of the tombstones we've seen have at least three cells on them, so. Uh, there's one guy left. Yeah, let's let's go kill him then. Corrupted prison it is. We'll just do a good job. You know, we'll get our we'll get our extra loot. And scroll or two and just uh, not get hit at all ever that sounds like me all right was there food do we leave any food anywhere no well I guess we'll just uh, we'll just go on at low health and yeah, we're not so low that it's a real problem that's a bad idea All right, to the corrupted prison. Pretty bummed out about not hitting this combo door. Have we checked the walls here? Oh, that looks suspicious. Oh, apparently it's not, though. All right, sorry about that. Didn't mean to threaten you. You know what? I'm going to take the cleaver. Let's open up the cleaver. And then we'll put the rest into here. I'll just, I'll replace my, um... My light speed with this, I think. You know, the light speed is pretty good, though. Maybe I replace... Yeah. We'll do it that way. Okay, so there's a couple of items that we have that might... Well, there's one item that we have that's probably worth an upgrade. Ooh, trap spreads oil. We don't have anything that burns anymore, do we? No. Well, we'll be on the lookout. If we see another fire grenade... I will just go ahead and uh, replace the light speed with it. And then... Uh, that has a pretty long cooldown, so let's take Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct will actually be pretty good now. Alright, let's 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 corrupt a thing. I just got an achievement. Hold on a second. Alright, what is this achievement? Reach the corrupted prison for the first time. Is this not the biome I thought it was? I thought this was the one that we had done before and it had, you know, it was in a place where we could take a door to the corrupted or the ancient sewers and no, this is definitely new and awful. That's a scary thing. I mean, I guess we don't actually know if it's dangerous, but it's scary looking. Yes, this is just not the biome I thought we were going to. Weird. Can I please throw my thing? There we go. So see, that's what that is. It's just a bunch of saw blades that go in the floor. Uh, we're going to give this guy the treatment as well. OK, 
Okay. Wait, where, where's that fire coming from? Oh, right, our, our amulet has fire. Okay, so we do have a way of, of setting off the oil. Okay, so they have a real ranged attack. Also, uh, the crows. Also, the crows are on this floor. I do not like the crows. Right, let's get his attention. He's going to follow us up here, and we're going to run away while shooting at him. Uh, their attack is just extremely fast. I know I had, on one of our trips to the caverns, I had talked about how I didn't really think that, that the crows were a big deal. Uh, but I have changed my mind on that. When you don't have a good ranged weapon to fight them with, uh, that incredibly fast attack of theirs is real scary. Ow, didn't get out fast enough. Okay, we should probably... should probably flask. I don't like it, though. I figured it was going to happen. Okay, also crabs. Also crabs is the thing. That's pretty good, though. You can't, you can't be too upset about that. I, did, I didn't hit him a single time with the pan. All of those shots were off. Uh, don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, he's very sneaky. Ow. That attack comes out not so fast that I should be getting hit by it, but definitely a little faster than I was expecting, obviously. Oof, boy. Ah, uh, somehow I managed to turn around in the middle of my roll there, which I thought was the thing you couldn't do. Yeah, huh. That's pretty weird, though. I ended up not rolling anywhere near as far as I thought I was going to because I suddenly turned around. Not a good way to get hit. Did I cancel out of it? You can cancel out of the roll with an attack. I, I do that on purpose all the time. Wow, that was a real weird time to light speed. Why? Why? Why do that, though? You know what? We have a terrible, terrible weapon right now. I mean, it's pretty good for a tier 1 weapon, but it is a tier 1 weapon. This seems like an okay time to try the sandals. That said, what we're really doing is still just waiting for Poison to do most of the work for us. Get sandaled. Okay. Results positive. I like it. So yeah, the, um, the Slasher's doing a real good job of uh, staggering the enemies. Oh no. Oh no, this is a nightmare. Please, please end the thing. Uh, don't roll through that. Don't roll through that attack. That's a bad idea. Ugh. I wish that the... Um, so there's a little bug with the, with the light speed, obviously, where sometimes it gets stuck with the return coloring. So I, di I didn't press it there where we could have used it to escape because I looked down and I was like oh I don't remember where it will return me to but it's just it's bugged it wouldn't return us anywhere it's it's in it's in normal mode it just is showing the wrong thing and that's an annoying bug that they should fix uh, I don't know if we need are we down 15% no we're not we're down about 10 uh, no, actually, we totally are down 15%. Well, whatever, we'll come back for it later. Uh, Cleaver 5+, plus. what's the one we're using right now? It's a 4++. plus plus. You know what? It's fine. So I'm not going to spend 3,000 gold on such a marginal upgrade. Okay, I'm, I'm enjoying the sandals. The sandals are doing good work. As is Poison Gun. You know, the more we use it, the more I think the poison gun um, does not scale. Like, I think the damage scaling on the poison gun is just scaling the projectile. And the status effect damage might be coming from somewhere else. And I base that just on the fact that this is a, this is a tier 1 gun. And it's doing, like, real, actually good competitive damage. How did I manage to throw that on the tiny, tiny little platform there? 
Ooh, fancy grenade. Right, you're not going to be invincible forever. You were invincible for longer than I wanted to. It's fine. Apparently, that thing doesn't prevent them from taking damage from poison. It just prevents the application of new stacks. It's not a problem. All right, well, this is not going all that well, but I don't feel horrible about it. If we can just, uh, just keep the silly damage to a minimum. Like I said, we, uh, we actually, we actually do get quite a bit of flask back pretty soon. Oh, we gotta stay this low. Is the rat just not gonna... There he is. like to clear out the platforms around this before we aggro the big guy. And I mean, when we aggro the big guy, we want to just take him right down here, right? Okay. Whew. A lot of the new enemies seem designed to punish you for rolling through, which makes sense, right? That's If that was a dominant strategy before, you want to make newly designed enemies discourage it. You want to combat the things players are actually doing. I'm just having I'm having a hard time with my long, long history of dead cells where uh, where roll through was always the right play, <laughs> which is pretty good evidence that things needed to be changed up. Okay, apparently we're pretty much done already. Alright, so we get to go back to full health and then get a little bit of loot. That was... that was worth the detour. And this drops us off. I guess I didn't actually get close enough to the door for the name to appear. Uh, where's the other one? It's on the other side. I mean, even if it... even if we got no items and no scrolls here... And I think we did get no scrolls, right? This is a no scroll biome. Uh, just the gold alone is worthwhile. It is nice to be able to buy a thing. And maybe at some point, the flask charge will not be a mandatory purchase for us. You know what? That's so much running, I don't even... Don't even care to go fight that last enemy. Alright, so we should check this out first. Oh, interesting. Away to the ramparts. I wonder why we, we would want to go ramparts from here. Yeah, sewers is, sewers is definitely our intended path. Alright. Now that said, I did probably... I did for sure lose an extra flask charge coming here, so maybe that makes it not worthwhile. Uh... You know what? We do need a new skill. The light speed's good, but it's getting a little out of date. Okay, so the ancient sewers is a nightmare. So it's always a bad time. Just keep pouring stuff. Uh, you know what? I don't need the magnetic grenade. I want this. Give me this. Maybe we'll grab the magnetic grenade right before we go to the boss. It creates a little, like, spot on the ground that constantly shocks anything nearby. And uh, I could see that being really good against the hands, actually. Even though the magnetic effect of it won't actually, like, move them. Alright, we kept the biter effect, which I'm a big fan of. I think, I mean, we're gonna hold on to this for a while, probably. I don't know for sure that we want to spend on any, any of the rest of this. Right, and you want to give me vengeance? I'm going to go vengeance. We actually do get comboed up a little bit against the um, <clears throat> the enemies in the cavern and the giant, so the damage reduction after taking damage is probably relevant. Again, the birds. If you get like if you get hit by anything else while there's a bird around, you're pretty much guaranteed that the hit stun will cause you to take a shot from the bird as well.
Ooh, another rare. This is... I remember not really liking that weapon before. So that's a four, yeah. Uh, it used to be the case that Valmont's whip uh, was a, a whip-type weapon, so it, that means it ignores shields and has a pretty long range. Uh, but it didn't do very much damage, and it was really, really slow. But it had a, uh, a, a critical point at the very, very tip of the whip, where if you hit them with... If you manage to hit an enemy exactly at the edge of your range, it would do crazy damage. Like, the, the crit boost was huge. Oh god. Okay. Thank you, wall climb. Uh, the problem is that, it, like, in practice, I found it very difficult to use because of the fact that it attacks so slowly and the crit point was so far away from you. Enemies enemies will run at you, you know? That's, that's how enemies work. Try to get them to come up in it. There we go. Ah. Managed to get back under before I, uh, before the grenade landed. Ooh, stuff. All right, cool, pastry. I'm always hoping for food when we break those. Gold's good, but food... Food is like gold, because it prevents me from spending gold on food. You know, it'd be really cool. This is the dream. What if we got out of here without having to spend yet another flask charge? And also, obviously, we got to be rich, so it's, it's important to actually kill things. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that the uh, the poison is scaling up with our stats even without the gun scaling. That's pretty that's pretty handy, but probably a thing they should change. I guess I don't really know how the damage from like. Um, Ah. I don't really know how the damage from, like, fire and stuff is calculated. It's pro It probably works the same way. Kicking a tentacle looks real silly. Right, we'll just do that. And then fill the air with poisons. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, there goes my combo. Sometimes the Ancient Sewers has, like, a ton of enemies in it, though. We might be okay. Yeah, Elites are real bad for the combo. I probably should not have engaged. We probably should have backed off and then come back later. That's my bad. Non-ideal decision-making. Oh, is this the... Yep. Well, it turns out our combo was going to get reset anyway. Honestly, though, worth it. If if it had if it had lost us a, a real combo, it would not have been. But I'm cool to take a little tiny bit of damage for 500 gold. Hell, is there anything I won't do for 500 gold? Well, there's only one way to find out. Although, obviously, if you wanna if you wanna try this in real life, we're talking gold bars. Ah, right. I forgot. I forgot he can he can change elevations. Right, clearly, the uh, the castle is making up for its earlier slight by just giving us lots and lots of amethysts down here. Ah, spikes. Always spikes. Also, cool chicken. I appreciate you approaching very slowly. Also, usually I'm really annoyed when the uh, the camera pulls away to look at a chest, but that did let us see that tentacle way earlier on its approach. So that worked out all right. Okay, used to be the case, once upon a time, uh, Gold and cells would only gravitate to you like that over a pretty short distance. What is this? Ah, here we go. There's a branch we missed. 
Well, well, that's annoying. Uh, so in a situation like that, I would have had to run over there and grab those cells. And there was a necklace property you could get that would make it so stuff jumped over to you over any distance. It was functionally useless, but it was also a real nice quality of life thing, just to not have to run all over the place all the time. I'm really glad that they made that baseline. That is a good positive change. That's pretty fun. Kicking a guy into a wall so hard he explodes is that is video game feel good time. Every single time. Get over there. Get over there. Man, I don't I feel like I don't stop and admire the graphics enough. Look how cool that slime pipe looks with the ghostly green light in it. That's real neat. Turns out the artists have done a good job. Uh, you know what? I'm actually reasonably happy with my skills. Happy enough to not want to pay money to replace them anyway. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Just trying to be cautious. Oh, hold on. Sweet, sweet amethyst. I didn't even notice this gap in the floor over here. Yeah, we're doing really well on money this run. We could definitely afford to purchase a, a nice thing. If only we ever saw one to purchase. A plus. A plus boot. Let's just fill this with poison gas. I suppose vampirism, the current form of vampirism, could be worth taking if you were always, if you were going to be confident that you would be at low enough health. Right, because the amount of uh, the amount of health that you stand to lose from a bad vampirism is certainly capped by the amount of health that you actually have when you activate it. Uh, wait, this way is it? It's up, right? Why is that not working? There we go. Okay. Having a little bit of trouble directing the old head moss to go up walls today. Not a great sign. Uh, wait. Did I... Here we go. I will never, ever remember the path. It's just not going to happen. This one's different, right? I don't think this is the same one we usually see, because that's the first time we've had to do the jump up, but usually there are two T-junctions where you have to jump up, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, hold on. This is the wrong way. Uh, we want to go... There we go. Damn it. You know what would be cool? Uh, if those were different buttons... This is what happens when you recommend that everybody in your, uh, all of your players use a controller. You get stuck having to map everything to the same four buttons. Uh, brutality? Okay, weapons are exciting. I don't necessarily want a frantic sword. Our sandals are tier three. So a six would be really nice. I'm gonna, I, I would, I'd be willing to buy something off a of reroll. Oof. Rough, though. What if we just didn't get any melee weapons? Okay. Bloodsword 6 plus plus. You know what? I'll for 4,500, I'll take it. It's not quite as fun, but when we re-roll re this into an S-class sword, it'll, uh, it'll be pretty powerful. It should be capable of carrying us a considerable distance. Oh, I do not like the number of explosive things that we are seeing here.
Man. Poison. Poison's real good. Alright, uh, do you think this is gonna drop us into some... into some poison? I think it probably is, but also it probably doesn't matter. Okay, no, it was not. I am not feeling terribly, um, terribly sanguine about our chances for a, uh, for a combo door here, so I'm not, I'm not gonna stress about it too much. Thirty kills from this point is a lot, is all I'm saying. You know what I would really love to get on this sword when we upgrade it is the, um, the thing that makes bleed spread to other nearby enemies. So we just have two clouds of, uh, of huge terrifying status effects. Oh, damn it, I knocked him off of the ledge that has my poisons on it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this weapon. Cleaver. Slicer? Slasher? Cleaver. Not really a sensible name. It's not really doing a lot of cleaving. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the grenade. The grenade is the best way to handle this. I don't need things blowing up directly on top of my face. You know, maybe we can still get it. I forget how many bats there are in these levels. They all hang out in pairs. And... Oh, almost, almost got bit there still. All right, so there's a tentacle waiting for us down here. Let's let this guy get dealt with, and then we'll worry about that. Do not like the additional mushroom enemy. Hey buddy, maybe you could just like die and leave me alone. Okay, this guy is pretty low already, right? Yeah. And I have no idea what is in any of the doors. I can never remember. Oh, absolutely not. For so many reasons. Alright, uh, we don't yet know the rest of the maps. There's there's a considerable amount of level left. Never mind, there's, there's that explorer's instinct. Well, that's enough enemies to finish our thing. There is a guy that we left back there, but there's no sense going back for him. Ah... Uh, Right. I forget about the, um... I forget about the little hop thing. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, we ended up inside the ceiling. I did not see the secret passage that we accidentally jumped into that made that so much easier. I was just trying to hop around in a, in a desperate screaming panic, if I'm being honest. Well, since we've seen it, we may as well uh, go on up here. Wait, how do I... Oh. Uh, this is a... Uh, yep. It's just one of these. So many amethysts. Okay. That is one of those things you can drop through. I have no idea if that's going to turn out to be worth doing. But I mean, our combo's over. We may as well. It sucks, though. It sucks that that, like, it would be really cool if that didn't actually deal damage to you, so that you could go and get that even if you have, uh, even if you have a combo to worry about. Okay, so this time we have some actual interesting options. A plus plus oil sword 
is definitely worth considering. And then this is a higher tier cleaver, probably. Let's take the oil sword. Okay, so it's only a four. So that cleaver is probably also a four. The thing is, I think I I think in general I like the oil sword better than the um better than the blood sword. Even though it is technically slightly worse. Oh, yeah, we'll take it. I'll take it. So it's probably not worth grabbing this. I'm just going to grab the uh, the two things on the top tier, then. There's a good grenade over there. You know what? Give me that, too. Take this over the powerful grenade. Look at all the bonus damage. It's still way less damage, but it's usable, like, four times as often, so. Okay. Honestly, that went really well. That was that was super good ancient sewers. Now if we can just get through the conjunctivious fight without Oh, there was there was food. I could have gone back and sold that food. Yeah, if we can just get through the conjunctivious fight without taking a ton of extra damage, I'm going to be pretty happy here. So, that's probably well, dodging plants a bomb is nice. And we don't really need to uh, coat enemies with oil. What we need is a way to start a fire. Honestly, I don't think I want to take any of this stuff. It's a shame to pass on a 6++, but... I don't know. The Nutcracker... As far as green weapons go, the Nutcracker's pretty fast. I think we'll... I think we'll hold off here. Oh, right. It's a good idea to turn turn in the whip. It was smart to talk to him. Yeah, I think I'll save these for the forge. But actually, we can we can test this now. Uh, if I upgrade this to S quality... No, you cannot double upgrade it. So, that improved forge thing actually will become completely obsolete. It'll be a while before it does... And it was definitely way fewer orbs to do that than it would have been to complete the plus plus meter in the forge. Uh, so what did we add this to? Victims burn when they die is pretty fun. Let's not bother upgrading that, but I will upgrade this. And again, I guess? Okay, bonus damage to enemies covered in uh, burning oil. Shoot. Well, it's pretty cheap to reforge it. One more time? Okay, well, it's fine. I'm a little worried that that may have been too much money that we just spent there. But just, like, think about... Think about if we had re-rolled it into something that was actually... Any, any good properties at all, really. Now, it's going to be fairly... Unlikely that we're gonna deal a lot of damage with the uh, the cleaver here, but you know sometimes the boss just moves down to a platform and hangs out there for a minute. It's not impossible. I would love to get to actually land some melee attacks here. Hey, look at that! I don't think it was actually taking damage from the cleaver. I think it was still too high. Okay, I got a melee attack in. I didn't even realize there were spikes on those walls. How often is that relevant, right? So this is real bad. The, da the damage output is, is abominable here. Okay, we got some decent damage on some of them. Doing a better job of not getting hit by the uh, the initial rush. Oof, boy. The animation for using this weapon is a little bit long, and it does sometimes get me hit. You can't really argue with the efficacy, though. Like, it's a it's a fine. It's a fine tool. Ah, ooh, a little close there. Hey, the cleaver's actually dealing some damage on that one. It's 
stop stop moving slightly what do you what do you take me for a person who can kind of aim because I'm absolutely not ah I am rolling way too much I am rolling when I do not need to roll which is a bad idea because it leaves you in an unsafe position later when you do need to roll ah you can see the the roll executed after I took the damage there. I did hit the button. Just not at the, you know, not at the right time is all. Okay. I was hoping that was going to have a little bit more fall. I mean, listen, we didn't need a no-hit, we just needed to not have to spend a flask, and we may actually get it. Awesome! I actually feel really good about that, despite the fact that I got hit a bunch uh, in ways that were not great. feel pretty good about it. Okay, we might be out of, uh, out of useful conjunctivious blueprints, it looks like. Uh, we certainly don't need an oil grenade. That, that is the last thing we need. That said, I might just take this torch. No, it's so low level, though. We will be able to create oil fires against non-boss enemies. Also, this is looking like it's going to be a long-ass video, because we are just getting into the graveyard an hour in. I guess that's what happens when you, uh, when you do an extra biome. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before we have to worry about the Advanced Forge being obsoleted. Okay. Starved Conjunctivious outfit. Oh, look, it has a little tentacle. Great. Who doesn't, who doesn't want to walk around just absolutely coated in tentacles at all times? You know, it might be a good idea for us to, uh, to try to find something to go in this secondary slot that isn't a Tier 1. I mean, as long as the poison effect seems to keep scaling with our, our stats, though. This weapon is kind of real good. Ooh, that's also kind of real good. And who knows when we'll see another red shield. I'm going to take it. And we're going to maybe immediately regret it. So it, it does, yeah, it also does a burning effect, which is awesome. Okay. Okay, we're just going to be good at using the shield. That's the world that I want to live in. And so I'm going to pretend it's the world I already do live in. Check it out, it's happening. Bam. Okay. Uh, still don't need this. Looks like there's another stompable area. Yep. Just up ahead. A little nervous about this drop. Okay, everything's fine. A powerful grenade, 4 plus plus. You know, honestly, I really like the super fast grenade. I know we have the cooldown reduction thing, but I like having a button that's just always up, in addition to our longer cooldown trap thing. Okay, I forgot for a minute there that we don't have a bow anymore. Panicked. There we go, that's what we need. Oh, I don't want to be over here. What am I doing? Yeah, this side. Hmm. There we go. You know what would be really great is if I managed to not need a, uh, a flask charge. Because this is, this is the biome that the food shop is in, but we can't access the food shop until we're well over halfway through the level. Because we have to find the key first, right? So I probably shouldn't... Really? Hmm. Okay, well... Probably shouldn't mess around then. It's fine. We don't... We don't need to go into the cavern with full resources. We're, we are okay. Oh, hey, that didn't really throw... It didn't throw nearly as far as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to rebound off the wall. You can tell I'm still, my reflexes still think I have the poison pistol. Oh, 
Well, this should be pretty good against the rats. Actually, it's dealing a tremendous amount of damage against everybody. We have we have some pretty good range damage for a for a red build that has no range weapon. Alright, show me something cool. Okay, that could be cool. Uh you know what? Honestly, probably not. We could have double upgraded it to S, I guess, but we're not going to have a huge amount of money left necessarily after we uh, buy that flask charge. Which went from a thing that we need uh, to a thing that we need real bad. Okay, pretty happy with the way that went. Really, really couldn't be happier. Oh, well, I just pushed him right off. Hey, you, shoot me. There we go, that's what I need. A little surprised that the uh, the bleed was not procking on them before. Okay. Not a big fan of all of this. So... There's at least a slasher on that platform. Maybe he'll walk into this. He will, in fact, just walk into this. It looks like he's the only enemy over there, aside from the, the bishop, though. And, of course, that moment right there is the kind of moment when you usually find out, Oh, I was wrong! Again, just really nice to have a... Uh, to have a, a grenade button that is always available, almost no matter what. <laughs> oh, hey, guy. How you doing? I think he won't attempt that again because he's no longer at our elevation. I'm not going to let myself get distracted. I have a plan here. Just going to let this happen. And then we'll, we'll do the same thing to him. I see no reason to fight fair. I do wish our grenade was just a little bit more powerful so that it didn't do 99% of a rat's health as damage. You know, it's so it's so close to being really good. Okay, I think we've cleared this platform out. Not the platform above it, though. Ah, facing wrong direction. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that felt pretty alright. I really like the verticality of the swing pattern. This weapon is a very, very good melee weapon for fighting bats. Ooh. Um. That's pretty good. Bonus damage to bleeding targets and everything. Do we want to drop our fast grenade or maybe our cleaver? I actually, I really like our weapons, though. We'll probably want to trade out the cleaver before the giant fight. Since his hands don't necessarily spend that much time on the ground. But for right now, let's hold on to it. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I don't know how useful it's going to be in the cavern. I feel like everything there moves around really fast. I guess the big dudes. The big dudes will suffer. Oof. That's a little confusing. The two-hit combo did stagger him on the kick before that, which is why I didn't try to move on that kick. See, if I were the enemy, I would simply not walk on the giant carpet of saw blades. Oh, right. Once again, forgetting that our equipment is different now. There we go. We successfully used the explosion of the grenade to push him deeper into the saw blades.
Look, I went down there and fought him a little bit. That's bravery. Oh, uh, uh... Nah, still nah. We're doing okay with setting stuff on fire. Okay, yet another amethyst, which will just get us to the, uh... To the buy a flask charge threshold. So honestly, it's looking like maybe we wouldn't have been able to buy the food anyway. Although, of course, if we had spent a little bit less gold re-rolling. Alright, uh, yeah. Now, this is the part where we routinely take a lot of damage. This is the hard part of the bio. So let's just try not to lose focus here. Don't think I'm close enough for that to be active. There we go. Apparently they will not walk out the door. That's unfortunate. There we go. Ooh, what's that? Open wounds. Well, I bet that mutation is bleed-related. Given the name and the icon. That could be real fun. With us us and our bleed shield here. If we do end up with a good bleed-related mutation, I'm going to be a little sad that we replaced that sword. Really appreciate all of the fire. Wow. He was able to attack me before I was even up on the ledge. Apparently the instant you start the climb animation, you count as being up on the ledge. All right. Oh, that's right. These guys don't actually follow you, though. So now we've just made it impossible to go down there without taking damage. That was good. Uh, that's almost certainly the way forward, too. Okay, that's a later problem? Now you know what, our combo's three. I guess it's a now problem. We're not trying to protect anything over here. Ooh, that was real close. Just stay right here, because the uh, razor blades do need proximity. Boy, that guy's got a real long patrol path. We might get to a place where we can buy the pastry. The pastry is 2,000, right? Or, yeah, yeah. I think so. So this guy absolutely just went over there and waited. He got to a place where he was invisible and he waited for us. I don't like to see that level of forethought. Hmm. This is probably a situation where we actually have to shield. He just hard whiffed. He hit us with the first shot because I didn't shield fast enough. And then with the second shot where I did shield at the right time, he elected to miss rather than... rather than, uh, get blocked. Again, a level of forethought I don't like to see from my opponents. Okay, that's what I figured. No matter how long we waited, no matter where we stood, there was always going to be something there. That's just the way of this cursed castle. Really, really thought I was going to make it up there, apparently. Well... I'd be lying if I said I was excited about our health position, but it's not too bad. Yeah, go ahead. Do the thing. Interesting. I think that ranged enemy was shooting at the cleaver. So they target it like they target turrets. Should get closer so that if we do the parry right, it gets him, the, gets him with the bleed at least. And then the parry bleed causes a fire. It's all, it's all very beautiful. 
So it looks like the, uh, the cleaver takes damage when enemies walk on it. I guess to prevent you from relying on it forever. It's a pretty small amount of damage, though. Hey, look, I'm doing it. I'm, like, kind of, kind of performing with this shield a little bit. Oh, this is ugly. Uh, do I think I even need to go this way? Honestly, I bet. I bet we don't. <laughs> oh, this will be the moonflower, then. So what, it's it's promenade to get the keys, then we gotta find a way through to the graveyard from the promenade. I'm actually not sure how you... can you do that? I mean, obviously you can do that. Ow, I just totally lost track of the projectiles coming from the bottom there. Not Not great. I do really like the bleed shield. I think the bleed shield is a fantastic weapon. And this is a game where we evaluate shields largely for their use as weapons. Alright, uh, red. Yeah, I don't know. I think we might not make it to uh, even being able to take the pastry. So our health is actually going to be in a pretty non-ideal shape, then. And the cavern is just hard as hell. Alright, so here's our food shop. We are absolutely taking that flask charge. You know what? Honestly. If we're missing so much health that we could just buy the chicken instead, is it better to buy the chicken? Because it's the same amount of... It's roughly the same amount of health. This, the flask is a little bit more, but it's not 16,000 gold more. But if we buy the flask now, it gives us the chance to find a chicken on the next level and have benefited from both. We're definitely, like, buying opportunity a little bit. Oh, yeah, alright. Alright, I'll do it. I don't know how much we're going to need gold after this anyway. It's entirely possible that we will not find a shop that has anything compelling in it. Okay, no. Absolutely not. I should probably try to get more comfortable and start taking those, because they do make you stronger. Just push them out of it immediately. I do appreciate that the little bats are never made invisible. There's something else walking around down there. I see the I see the predator wobble couple of somethings. You know, he's got that old predator wobble. Ah, that's lava. <laughs> Don't jump in the lava. Okay, so we do have enough money to go back and buy the partial health up. Also... There is a chest over here that apparently has no enemies in front of it. I'm wondering if we are... Ah, it's a trap. It's a trap corridor is why. Alright, that's fine. Just do a good job. Just do a good job at the corridor. What I was wondering is if um, enemies that were behind Bishop Fogg maybe just didn't show up on the map. Alright, apologies if this is tedious, but... With us not being able to see all the enemies around here, uh, I'm a little... I'm inclined to take it real slow and safe. And this is working. Yeah, this is a lot of fog. Okay. Yeah, there's something on that platform. That's a pretty smart defensive spin. Okay, all of a sudden the area is much easier to handle. So 
So it, I think the stomp must count as a melee attack. Because it looks like it is reducing the cooldown on the on the cleaver. That said, the cleaver is actually... The cooldown isn't that long in the first place. Alright. Uh... Oh, I missed. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, honestly, maybe I should have considered that. I know it's off color, but like the stun effect is... The stun effect does not scale. It is perfectly functional no matter what colors you are using. Uh, there is a treasure chest over there. Yeah, this is worth going for. Just don't get hit. You know, it's that easy. It's just that easy. Oh, crowbar. I think no? Yeah, a 5 plus isn't even... isn't even comparable to just the level of our item, on top of oil sword being a lot better for our build than, uh, than crowbar. Although the oil sword will not get a lot of its utility against the boss, since we don't have a normal source of fire, we only have fire on kill. Alright, well, we'll just have to... We'll just have to figure it out. Close combat attacks inflict bleeding. Okay, so it's not something that buffs your bleeding or interacts with bleeding. It's just a bunch of free bleed. I mean, honestly, it's not a bad thing. Seems pretty alright. Um, 500 extra gold. We could, I suppose, at this point, unlock the specialist showroom. We're doing a little bit better job managing our gold, although spending a bunch of money in the first biome is, of course, going to make it trickier. To continue doing that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I have no idea what things in the showroom are going to cost with the economy rebalance and everything. Burns blocked enemies with a parry is an awesome modifier. That's a really, really good one for us to have pulled. Alright, three flask charges. No ranged weapon, but I do have a shield, which I did not have the last time we've been we were here. In fact, I don't know if we've come here with a shield, have we? Oh, maybe the first time. Cuz we were green and we had just swapped out the claw, I think. But now I now I feel like I know the enemies a little bit better. That said, how many enemies actually have blockable attacks? We could probably block the crow and the the little flying orange imp guys. But the stomps from the big boot guys are not going to be blockable. The falling rocks from these guys aren't going to be blockable, although their punches probably are. Why did I even throw the grenade? Why? I just got myself into the habit of pressing the buttons at the same time, and apparently hard to unlearn. I'm trying to actually get vision of his health bar. Okay, it's not a lot of damage, it turns out. Nope, okay. Well, I did hit him, but not until after he hit me. That's good loot, though. Okay, one of those things in the ceiling, which I don't think is... Oh, check that out. I don't think we've seen those before. Oh, there's something... Mm, do I want to drop down there? No, not really. Not for an off-color piece of loot. What am I doing? Maybe block after he attacks you. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, let's try to get him to fire. Come on. Okay, just st stand directly under it. It is not eight directions, it is six. Wow, is that his stomping? Shaking the screen? So he just keeps going until he hits the wall, huh? They changed the way bleed works. Now it's like if you get enough bleed stacks on someone, um, it removes them all, and it just instantly deals the total damage that uh, would... Ow. I was really expecting him to be staggered by the, um, the damage from the cleavers. The remainder of the damage that would be dealt by the bleed is dealt instantly instead of over time, and then it resets and starts dealing more damage, which means that... It is more viable to kill someone with bleed without necessarily having to keep them bleeding for such a long time. 
in case you were wondering why it seems like sometimes the stacks disappear real fast. And yeah, I know. I know. It's just the cavern's real hard, alright? And my excuse for why I was doing this everywhere else is the cowardice. The, you know, the cowardice thing we were talking about. Okay. Ooh, boy. This area is, uh... Is fat with traps. Fortunately, they are not very resilient. Uh, I really... Oh! It respawned. Uh, I really thought he was going to turn around. He hesitated for way longer at the end of the platform there than he did the time before that. Showed me. Well, at this point, I think we're... As far as fighting the giant goes, I think we're not interested in maxing out the area. We are, we are all about, we're all about just getting to the giant as quickly as possible. Stop, just die, Jesus. Oh my god, they're very mobile, is the thing. Ooh, that was, uh, that was real slick of him. Okay. Very important not to move until the grenade finishes going off. Okay, another elevator. Elevator's good. I don't remember how many elevators we usually have to ride. Mm, let's try going this way. <laughs> let's see if this is the right way. Show me something awesome. 8 plus, so we would no longer have oil. It's not even really more damage, although obviously we'd be able to apply a second plus to it. Uh, how many things do we have that care about? So we have two sources of burning, but they probably won't work on the boss anyway. You know what, it's probably, it's probably a good idea to change these out. And we're way more likely to be able to get crits. All right, this was the right way. Awesome. It's like, until we have a reasonable expectation that we will be able to make it... Oh, I was hoping we got past him fast enough. You know, until we have a reasonable expectation that we're going to be able to actually kill the giant, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to worry about resources at this level. Oh, there's a scroll right there, though. I guess that's a thing. Making sure that we got all the scrolls would certainly make us more likely to succeed. Please just bleed to death. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And where'd that guy go? Okay, it looks like we might actually be able to skip those floors up there. Hey, you. Ah, right. Right, he doesn't have to actually come over to me. Ow. Really desperately just trying to hit him. To, <laughs> to knock him down and make him fight. You know, it's not fair for enemies to do the thing I'm doing. It's, this is a tactic that should only be available to me. I'm kind of surprised he's vulnerable to this at all, given the shoes. Okay, shop man, show me something. Yep, I don't have any money, it turns out. So this is a dead end. We actually do... Okay. We actually do have to go up this way. Or maybe this way? I don't know. Maybe. Let's find out. That went a little further than I was expecting. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, and those guys are so easily... So easily staggered and locked up. Also, Drifter Outfit, okay. I dig the color scheme. Yeah, if you can just get a source of damage on those guys. It's really nice to have a turret or something for fighting them. 
Uh, is he gonna... No, he is not going to react to my presence. Alright, so you. You come over here. Or, alternatively, don't. That's actually fine. You want to just stay over there. Wow, apparently that tiny fall killed him. And the fire must have killed the other one? They, they do. They just, like, they get perma-staggered. They get stuck in things. Okay. You just gotta keep their attention. Yeah, this is a new area. Get him to jump down here. Or maybe not. Well, that is an elevator. This is probably the right way, then. So, yep, he just keeps doing that. No, okay, he doesn't do it until he has reached the end, but he does do it for a lot longer than I was expecting. Oh, look at the crow. The crow's so smart. Nope, never mind. I should probably be trying to block that, but it's very scary. Okay. So what we've learned is, the rule for the cavern is, whenever you see a direction that would be scary to go, just go the other direction. Ah, uh, terrified. Absolutely living in terror here. Ooh. Honestly, that went, that went pretty well. Ah, uh, that's why they stagger so easily and stay stunned for so long, so that if you hit a single reflect on their projectiles, they uh, they are just easy to run off, run over on. That makes sense. That's a that's a good way to implement that. We are definitely getting better at fighting these enemies. Slower, but better. I'm absolutely just gonna let this guy bleed. It's it's too risky to go up there. There's no benefit to it. Oof. I was really expecting him to stay stunned. Again, having some problems with the, uh, the inconsistency. Sometimes they stay stunned forever. Most of the time, I would even say. The good news is that as we... As we are fighting enemies who hit us for more and more damage, it takes longer and longer for the orange part of the health bar to tick away, and we get more chances to pick stuff back up. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna have to deal with this. Shields are good. Shields are powerful. I don't know why I thought that was gonna hit him from there. Real risky. Not a good move. It worked, but not a good move. Oh, I thought that was going to kind of land on his head. Alright, I feel really good about how good we're getting at dealing with the imps. That said, can the cavern please be over now? I'd really like to be out of here. Why is this biome so long? We're even we're even skipping a lot of it, and it's just it's so damn tall. Uh no. Right, this video is over 90 minutes, just because this cavern will not end. I feel like we've gotten a lot of... I, like, I'm not playing quickly, but also I feel like we've gotten a lot of really long biomes here. Right, well, that's a big pit of lava. I don't, is that a good sign? I don't remember if there's a bunch of lava in front of the, uh, the giant's door. There could be. That, that's a thing that could happen. Oh, <laughs> he didn't die. That, nope. Regained his wings. Okay. So, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I do like the way the blood splatters all over the wall when the, uh, 
when the stack consumption is triggered. That's a cool detail. Oh, hey. How's it going? Please, just... Just end. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Is it usually this big? It doesn't... I don't think it's usually this big. Oh, right. We are supposed to be replacing our cleaver. Honestly, maybe the cleaver will be good. Oh, this cleaver actually... Toxic Cloud with an 8 second cooldown. You know what? I will just take this one and we'll just we'll just use it as it is. We won't even upgrade it because we would not be able to uh, necessarily reroll for the... To get the Toxic Cloud back. Also, we won't have the money to reroll it. So I guess that's... That's going to play a part in that decision too. Well, they're making sure we're not going to miss any scrolls. This is not the right way. Done for seven months. Seven months here, and still no news of the outside. I hope everything's fine. Yeah, it's definitely... Definitely everything is super cool here. Ooh. This is a higher level bloodthirsty shield. Yeah, that's an upgrade. And we don't really need the, um... Burned victim... Or blocked victim's burn. So this has been the wrong direction. This has been a huge amount of, of effort in the wrong direction. Man, how far back do we teleport? Okay, so like... To the right? Up here and then fork right? Honestly, it could be left, too. God, this place is huge. Yep, this was it. <laughs> Elevator was right there. Would you believe... The biome is not over yet. Well, we should probably go this way and get the uh, get the scroll. I probably shouldn't have done that until after the uh, poison effect was done. Ow, I was not looking in that direction. Did you really still have your shield after all that? Fuck, man, that's very frustrating to take that amount of damage there. I mean, don't think we really have a choice. Odds are too high of us dying if we don't. You know, if you were, uh, if you're gonna be safe, they have no interest in attacking you. Okay. Is it? Speaking of being safe. Yeah, it's reasonably safe to hit this guy. Did I? Oh, I threw the, threw the cleaver in the water. That's no good. You actually really like that, um, that poison effect. That's nice. Right, tell me this is the way out. Well, at least now we'll be able to see. There is no way this biome is anywhere near this long, usually. It can't be. So where the hell's the exit? Okay, the exit, we're, we're right on it. We are on the right path. We are on the fastest available route. Man, I should, I should rewatch some local fifty-eight. I haven't seen that stuff in a while. Oh, okay. So we're taking two flask charges in here, and a full health bar, and some decent equipment. Uh, let's make sure we spend ourselves because they do not expect us to survive this. Do we want to grab anything for the fight, or do I just want to pour them into something? No, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Um, let's just unlock open wounds, because we really don't have a lot of good good general use red mutations. It seems like a good thing to have. Oh, I should have bought the other... Yeah, I should have bought the rest of the special showroom thing. Oh, well. Alright, so we have the money to upgrade two things. I don't want to upgrade this, and we don't have the money to upgrade these two together. So that's a shame. Uh, let's go for the daggers, probably. Okay, arrow in front of you for 1,000 damage and arrow upward for 900, and they're probably both going to hit most of the time. Two flask charges, and we still have our YOLO heart. This is by far the greatest number of resources we have had approaching this fight, and we actually have pretty good gear in terms of, um, in terms of like, numbers. The tiers on our gear are high, the numbers are large. 
That said, we really weren't close last time. Let's just go ahead and fast forward that. Oh, hey, I'm surprised. Oof. Surprised I was able to get the full combo off there. I did that parry so early. I can't believe they gave that to me. Right, I gotta remember to throw. Ugh, I'm just doing a terrible. Yeah, nope, that's not. Alright, well, now I may as well. This might break this hand, yeah. I didn't get any poison on it. Okay, this attack I'm really not sure how to deal with. Energy waves are uh, broadly non-parryable, in case you're wondering why I'm not trying that. I've never seen a situation where you could parry an energy wave. Oof, jeez. Yeah, see, you can't, uh... I guess the idea is you just hold up your shield and you don't get the parry bonus, but you don't take full damage from anything. That was pretty weird. I was actually sliding backwards while, uh... while attacking there. Usually you move forward a little bit. Hey, look at me. I actually dodged it. Yeah, being on that part of his hand seems to... I must be... I must be missing something. I must be missing some damage opportunities or something. There's no way your damage is intended to be this slow against him. Given the difficulty of the fight and everything. Okay, interesting. I don't really do the... Oh, God, that's... Come on. That's real bad. I don't really do the just hold your shield up thing very often. I didn't realize if you time your block such that a projectile hits you within the parry window, you don't get to hold it up. It just it automatically releases as a parry. Which makes sense. In most cases, that would be a good... That would be the thing you wanted to do. Just not here. Gosh, all the way to 50%. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh! I see. Ow. And that continues to happen while the other stuff is going on. Okay. This fight is a nightmare. Ugh. I didn't even see what hit me. Oh, that's not a good place to be. I mean, it was probably a thing from above, right? Based on the fact that I didn't see what it was, that's, that's the direction I'm not looking, so... Oh, I thought it was... It died, and the projectiles came out after it did the death animation, so I thought I was cool, and I just started moving toward it to climb up there. Yo, that fight's uh, absurd. There's no reason for that thing to have that much health. That's crazy. Okay, um, it seems doable, but you're going to have to perform, like, very tightly for quite a long time, or and bring in, like, a ton of health. And I mean, if you're planning to win the game on that run, that second thing doesn't... Right, you, you do have to just perform very, very tightly for a very long time. Bummer, man. The good news is, I now believe it to be doable. I can see how, how I would do it. But the bad news is, we're not close. Um, I need to do something else for a little while. So when you come back next time, we will be going to a different place. Uh, this... Once again, managing to put out a two-hour long video. This was just one run. Damn long biomes. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, different goal. If you have a feeling about what path we should be taking or what we should be doing, leave it in the comments below and I will see you next time.